Good evening. I'm Valerie Weber filling in for Brian Sutter, who, like our colleague over at CNN, Chris Cuomo, has tested positive for COVID-19. Brian joins us live from his home in Connecticut. Brian, how are you doing? We miss you over here. Uh, I miss you guys too, trust me. Uh, I've been quarantined in my guest house for about 10 days now. Unfortunately, I did pass the virus to my teenage daughter, Sarah. Uh, she's doing fine, although she is stuck in here with me, so. But we're getting along okay, right, Sarah? Sure. Uh, we're actually using her phone to connect with you guys today, so I thank her for that. Because as you know, Valerie, I'm still rocking my old Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. But it's a good thing we got your daughter there to work that camera. Now, Brian, any idea how you might have contracted the virus? Unfortunately, I do. Look, I was one of the people that did not take early calls for social distancing seriously. And I oh, went to um, a very crowded bar right. the night before bars were Brian. ordered to be closed. And I'm almost hey, certain I caught it there. Uh, Brian, it, it looks like there's some sort of funny filter on the phone there. Well, um, this is when I feel old. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, is the camera okay, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, my daughter says it's okay on our end. Okay, it's gone, it's gone, yeah. <laughs> Thought your daughter might have been messing with you there. <laughs> now, Brian, are you feeling any better? You know, I thought so, but I just can't seem to shake this fever. Uh, it came back last night, and nothing seems to relieve the discomfort. Okay, gotcha. Uh, if you're just tuning in, the funny filters on Brian are not us. Yeah, my daughter said the camera looks fine, so not sure what's going on, guys. It's not fine. Brian, are you having any shortness of breath? You know, a little, Valerie. For instance, when I take a deep breath, Look at this fool. I feel a little tightness up in here, but it's not too severe. Uh, all right, all right. Now, Brian. And I would just like to say, Valerie, that I am appalled at the federal government's response to this pandemic. I mean, where is the leadership? The president's tweeting, inciting violence. Shame on you, Mr. President. And I'm not afraid to say it. Shame on you. Okay, yeah, thank you, Brian. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Anything else to add? Yes. To all the people protesting the lockdowns, you look foolish. Take this seriously, please. I'm sure they will now. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Valerie. Whew, damn. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we'll speak with Dr. John Mitchell, an epidemiologist who I can see also accidentally has a face filter on. Oh, no, it's intentional, Valerie. My laptop camera is not very flattering, so I thought I'd treat myself to a little glow-up. Well, it's working for you, King, okay? <laughs> Stay with us. Mm -hmm.